Welcome to Voice Bootcamp. In this particular task, I'm going to show you how to customize Cisco IP phone with appropriate caller ID. Here we're going to learn how to change the description of a phone. We're going to learn how to change the extension of a Cisco IP phone, how to change the caller ID and the differences between alerting name, ASCII alerting name, display internal caller ID, and which name will show up at what point. And then, of course, we're going to learn how to change the external phone number mask. In order to configure and uh, conduct this lab, you need to have a call manager and two phone registered. So here's my phones that are available in my call manager cluster. I'm going to update this particular phone, Auto 3004, which is supposed to be in the UK. And the MAC address of this phone is right here. So I'm going to click on this particular phone and customize it. Now before I do any customization, I want to bring the phone onto my screen and for that we use an application called Verify which allows me to remote control into my physical phone so I won't go into details about how to set this up yet so I'm just going to say call control going to list all the phone that are registered to this cluster and I'm going to say open up this particular phone at the same time I have my IP communicator Okay, so as you can see, the extension of the phone shows 3004, which is incorrect. It should be 6001. So let's first fix that issue. So before we go and change the extension, I'm going to put a description of the phone. UK phone 1, extension 6001. And then I'm going to click on line 1 and change this extension to 6001 and save. Simple as this. So at this stage, I, I will test my uh, extension. So, of course, it will. Uh, I need to change my auto refresh screen so that it, it refreshes faster than the normal behavior. And the phone will go through a uh, reset a uh, quick update, and you'll see the extension will uh, on the phone will change to 6001. Okay, so if I now dial 6001, let's uh, use compact mode, save some space. As you can see, it's showing it's ringing that particular phone with no name or nothing but just a number displaying. Okay, so the extension change took place and the phone now has correct extension assigned to it. Now you have various different fields. You can of course call this a UK phone one primary line for example or uh, outside line. What I'm interested in is the difference between alerting name and ASCII alerting name. So let's put a value in here. So we'll call this UK alerting uh, phone one alerting name and this one will call this ASCII two different name well first of all let's just do one at a time okay so the phone will go through another quick reboot So now I'm going to dial from that same phone IP communicator to my physical phone and watch the screen. I'm going to redial. And as you can see, it shows two UK phone one alerting name. So from the calling party, calling device, which is my IP communicator, I'm able to see the extension's name. So whatever the name you define here, you will be able to see on the calling party. So if I were to call you, and this is your particular phone right here, 6001, on my phone, I should see this particular name. So let's not change this to this value.
Okay, again, watch the screen. Redial. Oops, it's, it's coming again, Re resetting. So I'll redial. Okay, so whatever the name is displayed on the SK alerting name is also displaying here. Okay, so now let's put both of them in there. So one is called alerting, one is called ASCII, just to di uh, differentiate between them. Okay, so I will redial. Okay, the phone again reboot. So the alerting name is showing up as opposed to the ASCII. Okay, so quick note. So basically what happened is that the reason why for you to have ASCII alerting name is uh, the alerting name is carried in a Unica Unicode message. Uh, which sometimes certain particular phone or devices may not know how to um, uh, decode that. So for any device that does not support internationalization Unicode messages, the ASCII alerting name will be used. So whenever you have both of these options set, always the alerting name is displayed. Now if a phone or device does not support, um, um, let's say, Unicode and nothing is in the alerting name, most likely the ASCII alerting name will be displayed in there. All right, so this is a quick differentiation. So now I will go down to the section called line one. And on that particular section, there's a field called display internal caller ID. Hmm, what does that mean? So let's put a name, UK, phone one. I wanna call this internal. Again, just to keep it differenti uh, differentiation. So the difference between the ASCII display internal caller ID and display caller internal caller ID, again, the same thing. This is a Unicode and this is ASCII. So devices that do not support Unicode will use this particular field. All right, so let's save this. So now is alerting name versus alerting, oops, or ASCII versus display internal ID, CLID. All right, so let, ha let the phone re uh, reboot. Okay, so redial. Again, it is showing the alerting name first. So first priority again. Oops. Okay. Next, I'm going to remove the alerting name and keep the other two. Okay, so redial. Ah. So the second priority is between those two is to select the alert ASCII name as opposed to the display internal color ID. Okay, so second choice. Okay, so let's remove this. So no alerting name, no display, no ASCII alerting name. However, I have kept my internal display I. Let the phone reboot. So if I to redial, there is no name shows up. Interesting. So why is it called display internal caller ID? Where it says a person receiving a call may not, well, it's you know, supposed to be used for internal calls. Hmm. So no name is being displayed here. What we're going to do, we're going to do a reverse direction. 
we're going to make a call on the reverse direction. So from this particular phone, we're going to call the IP communicator. Let's see what's the difference. All right, so we're going to call 3005. Ah, as you can see, the in display internal caller ID is used when you're calling in the reverse direction. So it is basically used in you in um what do you call on on the f from field when the call comes in. Now to test this verification. is used for so the display internal call ID is used when the configured device where it is configured is making an outbound call alright so few more tests what if I have internal call alerting name back and then I'm going to make a reverse call to see what's the difference okay so I'm going to make a reverse call and as you can see it shows the call came from UK phone internal again the display internal call ID is being used when the configured device which is Toronto phone or IP communicator or sorry the UK phone is making an outbound call Okay, what about a do reverse direction? So the alerting name is used when you're making a phone call to that per configured device. Interesting. So when a call is being made to the configured device, alerting name is used. When calls are being made from configured device, display internal caller ID is being used. All right, so that gave us some idea about those those fields and understanding how they how they are used and when they're used. Again, remember the ASCII is only for devices that do not support Unicode. So this will wrap up our, uh, sorry, one more last lap, which is to display the internal caller ID, extra, sorry, external phone number mask. We're going to change this to the appropriate value. So this is the external phone number match for mask for UK with globalization number being in considered. Save. And when the changes take place, you'll notice on the top right here where the external phone number mask will be displayed. Okay, so this is a pre uh, pretty straightforward lab. Now, as you notice, configuration of this particular uh, settings were not that difficult, but understanding what elements are being used when and when to configure what makes it a huge difference in terms of proper design or meeting the customer requirement. Alright folks, I'll see you in the